have you guys seen all the shorts i've been making yes i have been having some fun making shorts and today i'm going to be teaching you how you can make shorts with nexus clips a lot of you guys have been asking a lot of you have been requesting reva how are you making these shorts how do we your viewers use this software at the request of our community members, I am doing a dedicated video today on how to use Nexus Clips. Why? Because you've asked for it. All the big content creators like Mr. Beast and Ali Abdal, their team members, yes, because they have a team of assistants that's helping them. They use software like this, like Nexus Clips, that cuts their long form videos into shorts because they know that shorts are the thing that gets them subscribers, that optimizes their times and fill in those pesky little gaps in between when they need to upload more content. If you are interested in this video, make sure you stay tuned and see how you can start using this amazing tool that will save yourself some time and save yourself some headache and optimize your workflow just like that. Now, let's hop into my computer. What are you going to see when you first get Nexus Clips? When you upload the software to your desktop version, and I'm operating from my desktop version. Yes, there is a mobile option, uh, but that is still under full development currently. So we are working from the desktop version. So when you first sign up for Nexus Clips, this is what you're going to see once you log in, put in your account information and all that good stuff in there. This is what you're going to see. And this is home. You have the option to create clips straight from a long form video. You can upload it here or you can import a clip that you've already made and short of your liking. You can also upload the clip here and edit it from here. However, what I generally do, because I have it integrated with YouTube, it automatically gets my long form videos each time I upload to YouTube. And it sends me an email directly to my email as I showed you before. So you end up getting these notifications stating once you do a long form upload to YouTube that these videos have been uploaded and that you have moments ready for you to choose from. We are going to get into videos to clips. So here are all of my videos. And like I mentioned, I have it integrated with YouTube here. You can see my YouTube channel and I have videos, I have live streams and you have the opportunity to generate moments here as well. So we are gonna stick to videos and not live streams for today. We are going to choose this video, the brand video that I did because they have quite a few viral moments in it. I like that my graphics were really crystal clear on this video. Here are key moments here on the left and then they coincide with these moments down here. Say you wanted to generate new moments, generate a clip here. I would just select create clip. I can download a clip here that says it's 30 seconds long. I can download it horizontal or I can download it vertical. I can download it vertical just by selecting edit clip and it will go into its processing phase and transform my video from horizontal to vertical. Now it's generating subtitles. I really love this software because it is easy to use. It's kind of hands off. I really like it. Now I do like to play around with my videos, but that is strictly up to you. It's all about your preference. Here is your working section. Your working section is in the middle of your screen here. And then on the right is your display. So whatever you change here on the left will be displayed here on the right. This is actually what your video is going to look like. Now, I am able to choose from various features. I can do a two screen multi I can do a two screen miniature face cam where this small uh, screen here is on top of the bigger screen, or I could do a full screen as you see here depicted. I can do an upper face cam where it's just a smaller screen on top of a larger screen, or I can do a larger screen on top of a small screen, or I can do double equally portion. I can do triple, I can do triple regular. I could do, there's so many options here on the left that I can choose from. I'll just click one so that you can see 
what you are working with. Yes, I know it seems like a lot of boxes, but they're super easy to use. Now, what would I do with this video? You see how if you move this middle orange box, this correlates to the middle screen on the right. So if I wanted to capture a different portion, say I wanted to capture the bottom portion of my shirt or my neck or my necklace, I'll just move that box. I can also resize these boxes accordingly. Say if I wanted to capture this picture over here, which is really cool, I could do that and it shows up in the middle of my screen. Look at there. Look at what that does. And then say if I wanted to make this part of my face more prominent and I wanted to say capture maybe the iPad over here, I'm able to do that as well. Look at that. That is super huge. I'm able to grab various portions in my scene and that is what shows up here on the screen. Now, here's another feature that I want to include. Um, I want to talk about the hook. Okay, so you see how there's various areas on my screen. I am able to customize this. I like this software because it gives me options to customize just as I wish to. So say, for example, I wanted to change my graphics here to be red. You know, maybe red was my branding colors. Well, I'm able to just click that this button here on the left and it changes that. What if I wanted to get rid of this display box, which happens to be listed as a sticker? Well, I would just click on it on the right and then I would just delete it. And bam, it's gone. It's gone. Boom shakalaka. It is out of there. What if I wanted to change these captions or subtitles? Here is the subtitle button. Subtitles. I'm able to modify my text by clicking text. Um, and you are able to modify any of the text here on screen. And what if I wanted to change to, again, the red branding color? I would just double click this shaded area there and now everything matches and you know I am big on branding. You can just change the fonts here. There's a list of fonts to choose from and you're able to choose the pitch, which is the size of the fonts as well, just by clicking the numbers. And then I would just go and hit share because I've already changed this into a horizontal video. Now here you have two options. You can download directly to your computer. I have Nexus Clips integrated directly into my YouTube studio and so that I can just upload with ease. Here you'll see that Nexus Clips has already chosen a title for me. However, I am able to customize it. Generally, I like to put hashtag shorts. Also, you are able to change the description here and look, AI features are able to go into what your video is talking about and pull out the description and the hashtags for you. I do like to modify some of these, but it is not required. I am also able to change my settings here if I want to go public, private, or unlisted. I'm able to schedule by clicking program and I could choose a date to when I want to schedule this short. And then from there, I would just hit schedule and then it will show up on your calendar. That is complete. Let's go into our calendar. I have some shorts that I had already scheduled for the month. And this is what it looks like on your content calendar right here in Nexus Clips. So this is the short that I had scheduled. Another awesome feature that I like about Nexus Clips about the AI feature is you are able to create different moments based off of different topics or emotions or strategies. Say, for example, I wanted to create a different short that had a higher emotional factor or whether it's a high or a low, I'm able to generate new moments based off of that information. The AI selects it for you, which is really cool. But if you want it a more of an informational type of short, the AI is able to grab that as well. You don't have to go deciphering through your short. The AI does it all for you. Once you join, you are able to access the Discord here by accepting the invite. I hope this video has been helpful to you. And if it has been, make sure you leave me a like. I'll see you next time on the next video and be blessed. Love you. Bye-bye.